Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up your GameCube controllers to your Nintendo Switch. Now this has come about as of the latest update in the middle of October 2017, that's version 4.0.0. Now a lot of people are having trouble connecting them up, they're saying they're not working and they're saying if you hit down these two and if you press the Z button, if you do this, if you do that, they're making it work just by fluke. It's really simple how you have to do it and I'm going to show you it in docked mode and also in handheld mode as well. So first of all, I'm just going to show you in handheld mode. Now in this video, I've got third party controllers, I've got proper controllers, I'm also going to be using two third party adapters. This one here is a Mayflash one and this one here is a GameSeek one. They will both work. Now on this one here, you have to have it connected to Wii U, not PC. Wii U, okay? Now, all we have to do is so straightforward. Right now, I'm going to show you it not working. So, you plug your USB in there, and then we've got two cables to plug in. All we have to do is plug in the black one. The grey one is used for rumble, extra power for rumble. The problem is, these don't work on rumble anyway with the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully in the future, they might do an update where it does work. Now, people are saying that you have to go to controllers, and then you go to change grip order. And now watch this, I can press that all day long and it's not going to make a difference. I can hit Z, it's not going to make a difference. It doesn't matter what you do, it's not going to work. This is all you have to do. Let's go back to home. Right, we're going to go to controllers. And we're just going to go to search for controllers. Now we're not going to do anything, we're just going to go back. Now it doesn't matter what page we're on, even if I go to home. Now when you hit your two buttons it will recognize it. Have a look down the bottom here. Can you see there, it's now come up and now it's working. Yeah, so you can see it didn't matter what screen we were on and you just have to go to search for controllers. You don't have to do anything when you're on there and then it will work. And now I can plug in numerous GameCube controllers and they will all work. So now if I plug in this one, and hit the two, that now, when it's all set up, then you hit the R and the L button, like that. And now, that one's gonna be working. And again, with the wireless one as well. There we go. And now, if we were to go to that pairing screen, you will see it's recognizing it as three different controllers. Change grip order. Now, if you look in here closely, watch this. I'm gonna use this third party controller, which is player one. This one, player two, this one, player three. Now let's do exactly the same on the docked mode here on the TV. So we've got our dock here, and we're just gonna be using the black cable. Some people are saying you have to plug it into certain ports or unplug it and plug it into a new one. It doesn't matter, it will work on the one on the back or the one at the sides. So I'm just gonna plug the black one in to one on the side, doesn't matter which one. Again, we're gonna get our controllers. So let's use the proper GameCube one. I'm going to plug it into here, and again, you can see nothing's happening. Press C, nothing's happening. Right, let's make our way over to controllers. Just to show you again, if I went to change grip order, you can see that it's not going to connect up. So let's get out of that and go home. Right, again, we're gonna go down to controllers, and we're just gonna go to search for controllers. Don't have to do anything, let's just go back to home. And now, even on this screen here, can you see it's brought it up down here now, and we can even use the little C stick here to move around the place. So once you do that initial search for controllers, you can be on any single screen on the Switch and it will work. So right now, this is not working. Let's go to, let's go to system settings. Now let's do it. And you will, again, you will see it come up down here. Again, it's come up down there and now I can use this one here. So that's all you have to do. Don't have to worry about hitting anything else or worrying about any single ports. Now, once it's done first time, then you won't have to do it again. So right now I'm gonna unplug the GameCube adapter and now I'm gonna plug it back in. But we don't have to go through that again. All I have to do is hit the two buttons and now it recognizes it and it will work again. Again, with this one here, you can see it's not working. Hit the R and the L together and now it will just start working. 
Yeah. And even if we put it into sleep mode, it will start working. Hold that down, put it into sleep mode. Yeah, so now it's off. Again, we can unplug it. It's not a problem. Plug it back in. And now when it comes back on, I'll just show you it working again. And again, you see now, it's not working. All I've got to do is R and L, and now it starts working. So the only time you're going to have to do that search for controllers again is if you put it and power it down completely. So if I was to hold it down here and then go to power options, press restart. Now what's going to happen is when I turn it back on again, it's not going to recognize it and I'm just going to have to go to search controllers again. Right, so if you have a look, can you see there it's not working again? But all we do is go to controllers, search for controllers, get out of that again, and now if I do it, it now works again. There we go, it's so nice and straightforward. I hope that will help a lot of you out because it took me quite a while to work that out because I was just kept doing random things like pressing Z and stuff. But that's all you have to do, it's to search for controllers. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.